Hello everyone, this is Babamots, and here's another Homeworlds game commentary. This is between Lucky Cow and Hydroalcohol. Hydroalcoholical. Um, this is from round two of the 2022 tournament I ran. Uh, both of these players lost their first game. And overall, these I don't know that these players, uh, either one has had all that much success in in playing Homeworlds. We uh, may see some, some interesting things we can learn from here, though. All right, let's see. Lucky Cow going first. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to call them Lucky Cow, Lucky, or Cow. We'll see what, uh, let's see what comes out. The other one is definitely just going to be Hydro. All right. So, interesting. Both of them choosing to start with a green star. Lucky picks, uh... A green fortress with a yellow ship. Hydro takes a yellow-green banker with a blue ship. These are pretty unusual starts. All right, they both build. I think if I have to had to choose one of these, I'd prefer Lucky Cow. Um, I think I'd rather start with a yellow ship than a blue ship. Most of the time. All right. Hydro worrying about getting locked out of yellow, I guess. Lucky trading for green. There is only the, there's one small star in the game, and it's green. So green is actually something that uh, Lucky might get uh, a monopoly on early if they hurry. So Hydro didn't want to trade their the yellow that they had just traded to to get into the green. Yeah, Lucky looks like they're, they'd like to shut Hydro out of green. Um, Hydro may want to trade their large for a green. Otherwise, Lucky Cow might run away with uh, too many greens. All right, uh, Hydro not doing that just yet, though. Hydro might not see their peril. Moving out to a large red. That's an odd choice. There's not much you can do at a red. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Um, I think. Although, so interestingly, if, if Hydro builds even a single additional green, Lucky can sacrifice their large yellow to send a green across the universe for a catastrophe. And then Hydro is going to struggle a little bit with... Uh, with no green at their home. They both will have lost their large, but Hydro would be down a, a star, which is rough. Lucky thinking about discovering a red star. I, th I think I think preferring red stars to for your first colony might be a, a new player trait. Um, they may not have a good feel for when it's important to start getting access to red. Okay, so Hydro builds that additional green. Now the question is, does Lucky... Oh, well, if the qu first question is, do they commit to it? No, they're moving out to a large yellow. Mm, I don't like that. I definitely think they should keep a, a blue at their home. Ooh. All right, Lucky can just keep building green. Uh, this is this might be a very short match if, if Lucky knows what to do with this advantage they've got. Okay, Hydro now moving to a medium yellow. I don't, I'm not sure that Hydro's got a plan here. Because they need to... Well... Mm, at least moving to a small yellow opens up the mediums, that, but uh, Lucky has access to those as well. Lucky spreading out their yellows, so Lucky is in a better position to build yellow and green. Although Hydro does have the only blue, but they can't, uh, can't build with it. Okay, no. Lucky reconsidering that spread. Uh, trading for red. Okay. 
uh, Hydro may have been planning to push their blue into Lucky's home and then starting to build. Um, so it's probably wise that Lucky got a, a red to capture it if it comes in. Okay, Hydro now. Oh, okay. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Hydro trading their green, uh, trading their blue for a green. Uh, so now Hydro has somewhere that they can build these medium greens that, uh, that Lucky has worked to open up. That's actually not bad. Oh, that's... My my intuition was telling me that Lucky should have traded their, their small yellow for red instead of the green. Uh, that might be part of why that let Hydro into the green economy when Lucky probably would have preferred to keep them locked out. All right, sacrificing the green to build two reds. Mm, okay. Yeah, that shuts Hydro out of red pretty solidly. Hydro's traded away the only red, the only uh, blue that they had. So Hydro's going to start struggle to get red. I uh, my money remains on Lucky Cow. Lucky Cow invades the uh, vulnerable colony here, and Hydro's just got to run for it. Uh, they run to a medium red that, uh, moving to a red system, of course, will let them defend themselves. But uh, it takes it takes a medium red out of the bank, making the large reds closer to being available, and um, generally does nothing about the fact that Hydro doesn't have access to blue. Yeah, sometimes sometimes we say that blue is the least important color right up until you don't have it, and then it suddenly can be crippling to not have access to blue. All right, uh, Hydro. I think it's a mistake actually for Lucky to push the greens because green is the color where Hydro can actually compete. Um, could be wrong. Yeah, Hydro building a, another green, maybe. Or maybe sacrificing the G2 to build two greens. Ah, don't build them in that colony, they're just going to get captured. Yeah, just building a green. Um, Lucky could build the G3, but it would could get overpopulated. Um... By if Hydro sacrifices the only non-green ship they have. Let's see what Lucky does. They do build the G3. Reconsidering, they commit. All right, does Hydro overpopulate it? I think they had better, even though it's kind of ugly. Yeah, boy. Hydro's not in a great spot. They lose, they lose that green to the capture. Oh, no, if they... Yeah, okay. It's Their their position is even worse than I thought, because by building another green, they're now vulnerable to uh, an overpopulation at their home, and they have nothing but those greens. If they commit to this and Lucky Cow sees it, Lucky Cow wins immediately. Okay, Lucky Cow could have... Uh, well, still could if they... If they take this back, sacrifice the Y3 to move the little green into Hydro's home for an overpopulation, and Lucky will win. Um, but look like Lucky doesn't see it. They're spreading out their greens. They're sorry, their reds. Uh, maintaining a, a red monopoly is a very strong thing to do. Also, Hydro should get that little green out of their home immediately. Okay, to a blue system. That's a good idea. Um, so it can build and trade. Uh-oh, I think Lucky caught on. Okay, they're moving their little green into Hydro's home. Hydro, of course, can't do anything about this at all. Um, Lucky is going to build another green to overpopulate Hydro's home. Hydro can um, 
trigger the catastrophe themselves, or Bully Green and Faust, but there's there's really nothing to do here. Lucky builds, triggers the catastrophe, and wins. Okay, well, that was a short, sweet game. So, lesson here is, uh, if you've got no blue in your home world, you're probably going to suffer. I, I believe that anyway. All right, well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.